Welcome back. We now cross over to our international correspondent, David Kibuka, who's in Mozambique. Dave, what's happening there? After 20 years of peace, Mozambique might be on the brink of another war, which is very traumatizing because where am I going to go on holiday in December? Dave, how are you going to think of yourself at a time like this? Come on! Because I've been in the gym getting my body beat ready. Now my whole holiday may be ruined because of some disgruntled rebels. And I work on my whole body, not like most black guys who only focus on their upper bodies, but they never work on their legs, so they end up with that Johnny Bravo shape. Then on the beach, comrades end up having to wear vests with long pants and formal shoes. Why? Because they didn't focus on gymming their legs. <laughs> Dave, what has this got to do with the potential world Mozambique? Come on, man. If you go to the leg section of the gym, it's like apartheid, because there are no black people there. They might as well have a sign that says, whites only. I'm sure that's where the DA has their secret meetings, where they plan on how to bring back apartheid. The DA is not going to bring back apartheid, Dave. Come on. If black people throw enough poo on white people, they will bring back apartheid. It used to be that people were afraid of birds pooing on them. And now, white people are also scared that black people will poo on them. Yet black people do not live in trees. Even still, the DA won't bring back apartheid. Is that what you really believe? Come on. Man. Maybe the DA has their secret meetings at Woolworths. Actually, the DA should have their rallies at Woolworths because they'll get more people there than when they try and have a rally in a stadium. Okay, tell us about Mozambique. Forget these things you're talking about. Tell us about Mozambique. The Mozambican situation shows us how important it is for South Africa to protect its young democracy by voting. That's why I hope that everyone registered to vote last weekend. I was registered at 18, Dave. Wait, what am I saying? Actually, when I think about it, the fundamental problem with democracy is that everyone is allowed to vote. A clever person's vote can be cancelled out by one of those permanently drunk guys. You know those permanently drunk guys who fight with everyone. He's allowed to vote. Like, we think hard about who we are going to vote for, then the drunk guy just comes off to you and goes, yeah, I can just vote for whoever I want, I can vote for the beer party, I can vote for the Chisanyama party, I just vote for whoever. Actually, come to think of it, democracy doesn't work, Loy. Democracy doesn't so, work. So, okay, so what should we do? What should we do? Thank you, Loy. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Drunk Dave. See you next week, Dave. News that moves. ENCA.com.